Hello! Today we're going to be learning about how to configure your products and manage inventory with Opus Time. Now, to configure your products, it's a little bit different than the rest of it because your products can be managed on a daily basis. So they're not hidden away in the settings that you only configure once, but they're in your face, always available in the product section. Now, here's your products. You can search for products by name, supplier or price let's say um, let's say five dollars uh, you can search by supplier or by name by name um, this button right here allows you to click to print out the inventory so you don't need to carry your machine around so there's your inventory list as you can see, you can manage a ton of products with Opus Time. Uh, to add a new products, uh, you can just click on add product right here. You can enter the name, supplier, serial number, item code, cost price, to uh, stock level uh, in order to, to be able to manage the inventory. The price here, let's say it's $15. You can decide that the price includes the tax. Okay, so you can check that, that box and uh, when you invoice that, when you add this to an invoice, it will calculate $15 including tax, let's say 14.975. So, you know, you understand. So, so in, in other words, if you click price includes tax, it will cost $15 tax in and you can also leave a note here. Um, with the product. When you're done, click save and it will be added to your inventory. When you click on a product, let's say this one has 71, right? So you can adjust the inventory and Opus Time keeps track of what user has modified, uh, has removed or added inventory to your inventory, added items. So to add, to adjust the stock levels, you can increase it or decrease it, but let's decrease it because it's damaged. There's different reasons. Let's say we decrease it by, uh, because uh, a client dropped it and cracked the lid. And we'll decrease it by one. So if I update it, you can see now that there's only 70 left, okay? Um, so that's your stock adjustment. Now, when you add some uh, a product to an invoice, it will automatically decrease the inventory and uh, you'll be able to maintain easily your inventory with Opus Time. Another way that you can manage the inventory is by using the expense feature. Those are like your business expenses. Let's say you add an expense uh, because you've received a box with some products, let's say. So you can add a vendor, let's say standard gold. The category could be supplements or let's say face wash. Those are your categories that you enter when you add new products. And uh, you can enter the total expense account. Let's say it's $56 including tax. Uh, then you can enter the products that have been received with this shipment and enter the qual the quantity in this case let's say there's 12 each and that the units unit cost for each let's say is five dollars for this and then uh, 769 for that so when you add this they will get added to your in inventory right here and it's as simple as that. So that's how you manage your inventory and your products in Opus Time using the product section or the expense section. And I hope you enjoy this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up or don't hesitate to share it to friends or users or people who might need to know about this information. And we'll see you in the next one.